Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing with the new Pat McGrath palette. So I have my Celestial Odyssey palette here with me. If you guys wanna hear about my first impression thoughts, see some swatches and how I create an eye look with the palette, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on my channel. Today is so exciting because I got my hands on the newest palette from Pat McGrath. If you guys don't know, I am a huge Pat McGrath fan. I have been from the very start and I'm just so excited to be playing with her holiday palette. So if you like new makeup releases, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm sure you've already seen the packaging, but this is what the box looks like. And on here it says Mothership Mega, Celestial Odyssey. All the ingredients are on here. It's a 12 month shelf life. Made in the USA of US and imported ingredients. So very pretty packaging. And then the actual palette also has similar packaging. And on the back, all the shade names are on there. It looks like it's a sticker. And this is a $78 palette. I love the red. I think it's so fun. And then you open it up and it's got two ribbons here and a mirror and it kind of helps it stay propped open if you like to kind of keep it on your desk like a vanity. And then here are all of the shades. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them. But I kind of wish that this middle part wasn't there but it's also like it's not my palette you know i didn't get to design it so obviously i just have to deal with it so that is the packaging but let's go ahead and swatch i'm so excited okay so here are all of the swatches so we have saturn sunset rose venus gold galaxy noir moon bronze nova nocturne galactic glow sun rose amber lotus luxe Lunar Haze, Electric Heavenly Body, Bronze Eclipse, Solar Flare, Nirvana, Corrupt Copper, Palladium, and Citrine Envy. Okay, and then just so you guys know, I did check Temptalia's blog, and according to her, Corrupt Copper was previously available as a single. Bronze Eclipse is a shade in Midnight Sun. We also have Rose Venus, which was previously available as a single, and then Lotus Lux is a shade from Golden Opulence. So there are a few shades that were previously included in other palettes, and honestly one thing I did forget about the Celestial Divinity palette that launched last holiday was that a majority of those shades were from, actually all the shades were from Star Wars, those two palettes that she did and then there were only like six new shades but I still bought that palette like a clown <laughs> so yeah she does kind of repeat a few shades here and there but that's okay we still love collecting these here at uh, Karen Harris Makeup so I will grab my Celestial Divinity palette after I'm done with the eye look. I just wanted to give you guys a nice close-up of the swatches. Okay so I'm contemplating an eye look and I feel like I've done so many colorful looks lately that I might do a neutral slash maybe the green on my eyes kind of look so we'll see. There are four mattes in this palette. I don't think I had mentioned that but I basically have all of my makeup done except for the eyes. I just wanted to cut down the length of video so I figured if I have my makeup done maybe it'll go a little bit quicker but yeah I'm just blending this beautiful lighter matte brown shade into the crease with the Sigma brush. It's so pigmented and pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna take a flat wet and wild brush and I'm gonna go into this neutral shade up here and I'm just gonna use that for a brow bone highlighter. So now I'm gonna take the BK Beauty 206 brush and I'm gonna go into the dark brown shade in the first row and I'm just gonna use that to deepen up the outer corner. 
and blend. Everything is blending magically, magically. I need to clean my brushes in the worst way. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a clean flat brush and do the rest of my eye makeup. I've been like obsessing over this coppery shade in this palette. I just think it's so beautiful. So I just picked it up with this brush and I'm gonna apply it kind of towards the outer portion of my lid. And I'm saving the inner portion for the green shade. I do love copper on my skin tone. I used to wear it all the time when I first got into makeup and I was really into neutral makeup. So it's always fun to go back to because I just know it's so flattering on my skin tone. I'm just doing a little bit of an unusual combo, but I thought it would be fun to do like a neutral eye, but with like a pop of green, kind of like a nature inspired color combo. 2022 wish list for Pat McGrath. Uh, actual colorful eyeshadow palette, please. I just think that we deserve it. Please, Pat, please. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into the copper shade and just help blend the two shadows together. <laughs> I'm in heaven. And then I'm just gonna take the brush that I used for the matte brown and just tap out the bronze shade, the copper shade, sorry. And just kind of help blend everything. So it's very subtle, but very sparkly. I feel very festive and fun. <laughs> so let me line the lower lash line. I'm gonna use a brown eye pencil. This is the one from Charlotte Tilbury I love. Gonna grab my handy dandy pencil brush. Gonna go into the mid-tone brown shade that I used. This shade is very close to my skin tone, so it's hardly showing up in my lower lash line, but I want to use that as the shade to blend out the eyeliner. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go into the dark brown shade and just kind of wedge that in the outer half of my eye and give it like that smoky depth. And then sticking with the pencil brush, I'm going to go into the green shimmer, give it a little spray and drag it down into the lower lash line. I feel like a pretty shiny bug. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into the shade I used in my brow bone, and I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it right in the inner corner, just to amp it up a few notches. Okay, I'm gonna stop before I get way too overboard. And this is basically the final look. I'm just gonna do my mascara and stuff off camera and I will be right back to discuss my thoughts with you guys. Okay friends, so I put some mascara on and I'm back to show you guys the final look of course. And overall, I really like the eye look. It's very like nature inspired. I keep thinking like I look like a tree, but I would have loved to use the green all over my lid, but I swear I've done so many colorful eye looks that I was really feeling like doing something a little more neutral, a little more earth tone. So Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this look. I am definitely gonna be playing with this palette some more because it's absolutely stunning. And overall, I did enjoy it very, very much. Now, if you have all of the Mothership palettes, you probably have most of these shades already in your collection. I think that if you are a collector of Pat McGrath, probably you're gonna buy it anyway like me. And if anything, the most unique shade for me is like this green shade that I used on my lid. But I'm pretty sure everything else in this palette I can dupe in my own collection, which is kind of frustrating when it comes to Pat McGrath. Like I really wish she would like switch it up. Even the quads from the new holiday collection kind of look like the quads from last holiday. So I was kind of tempted to buy the one with like the purpley blue shade but I don't even use the quads from last holiday that much, so why the heck would I spend that money? Also, in case you guys are unaware, the rest of the holiday collection did launch 
Today I did post a link on my community page if you are interested in shopping. I'll also link everything on my face in my description box in case you guys want to use my links to shop. That really does help me out. As far as these two palettes compared, I mean, I don't think you can get this one anymore, so there's not too, too much to talk about, but again, this is what this palette looks like. It's definitely more like purple and neutral tone heavy, whereas this one definitely looks kind of like a mishmash of like shades. So color story wise, you're definitely gonna get more of a <laughs> cohesive story with this one, but you can make it work and it is what it is. I would love for Pat McGrath to do some colorful mattes. I really like her matte formula, so I would love to see some blues and things like that, but who knows if that'll ever actually happen for us. Just looking at the palette from last year to this year, I do see some very similar shades. I mean, obviously they're not gonna be like identical, but to the point where you can probably dupe this out with the one you have other than that teal shade and that green shade, which I think the teal shade, if you have Mothership 4, which was limited edition, but I think you can get it now, the All Shimmer palette, there is a blue type shade in that palette that'll probably get you by if you don't want to buy this new palette. Personally, I would say you can wait until this one goes on sale if you're not like into buying every new palette like I am or you don't have like a YouTube channel, I think you can definitely wait it out and see if you can get it on a bit of a discount because I know this palette did end up going on quite a bit of a discount. I think Pat McGrath is kind of known for that anyway. So I'm happy with it. I wish I hadn't spent $78 on it, but it's not a bad palette by any means. And you know, it's gonna do really good. It's gonna be a workhorse palette. And I just think it's beautiful and I'm happy to have added it to my collection. So before I end this video, let me really quick tell you what else is on my face. I did use this highlighter. This is Divine Rose from Pat McGrath and I don't use her highlighters very much so I did decide to skip the highlighter from the new collection just because it's a $60 highlighter and I really don't need a highlighter right now. I also wore the blush in the shade. This is called uh, Paradise Venus. It's like a pretty neutral shade and I was gonna maybe consider picking up one of her face palettes from the new collection but I have four Pat McGrath blushes and so I decided I don't need any more and then foundation is the Natasha Denona X foundation which I've been trying to kind of use up a little bit because I'm trying to get through some foundations before I buy any new ones. So those are kind of the things on my face and then of course this lip color is Leaves from Alien Cosmetics. I did mention that it was in my shop, my stash for the week. So I've been wearing the two shades I picked up from Alien Cosmetics throughout the week. That is Monday's video if you guys are interested in watching. But that is everything for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if I missed anything down in the comments. If you have any questions or concerns or brilliant insights, you guys know I love chatting to you down there. And I will see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye, guys.